Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another QuickBooks online training video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the locations feature on QuickBooks. The first thing you need to do is go to the gear cog icon at the top right here. Go to accounts and settings. In the left sidebar, go to advanced. And then somewhere on this page, usually under categories, ensure that track locations is switched on. So if this is off like this, then locations won't be available as a feature on QuickBooks. Tick this. If you can't find locations on this page, it's probably because you have a very basic subscription of QuickBooks Online and you need to get a more extensive and expensive subscription to the software. What is locations? If we click on the little question mark here adds a location field on forms so you can assign transactions to different locations like stores sales regions and counties so locations is a way to assign sales expenses bills sales invoices to different locations It's very similar to classes and you can run the almost identical reports for classes as you can locations and vice versa so if you see my video about how to use classes on QuickBooks Online, then you already know how to use the locations feature and what it does. If you haven't watched that video, go and find it and have a look because it could be classes what you're looking for, not locations. Now to start off with, once we've activated locations, we go back to the gear cog icon, we go to all lists, and somewhere on this page you should have a locations button. If we click on that, I have three locations that I've added already, Colchester Store, Leeds Store, and London Store. So I have three locations that I can assign transactions to. So it could be that I want to assign all the London Store sales to this location and all the sales from our other stores to specific locations. To add new locations though, you just go to the top right here and click on New. And you put in the name. There are some other options down here which I won't cover in this video but you can read through them. They're all kind of self-explanatory. If you have any questions you know you can use the comment section below. So it could be that we want to add locations for different areas of a business so not necessarily geographical locations or stores. It could be that we want to have locations for um, the warehouse and the accounts department and the sales team so I'm just trying to throw out some ideas of how you can use locations it could be different departments within the business it could be geographical locations it could be countries so if you have an international business it might be a, lo a UK location a US location Canada France, whatever it is, China, Japan, Australia, you could have all these different locations listed on the software. Now when it comes to adding transactions to these locations, it's very straightforward. Anytime you do a transaction, let's do a customer invoice first of all, let's do cheeseburger man and do an invoice. When we fill out this invoice, there is this location drop down list here. So if we had say a sale for the lead store we would fill in the invoice just like we normally would there's nothing extra to do when it comes to filling in the template you would then just add the location here save the transaction and then this transaction is saved just like it normally would be but it's also allocated to the location that we set if you don't know how to raise a sales invoice or an expense or anything like that then I suggest watching my videos that explain these things my QuickBooks online basics course is, is really worth watching so let's do another one advertising costs so this is an expense this time 400 and once again we have this location here so we can just select the location as the sales team click save and close and that will be allocated to sales now if we go back to our locations list, so locations, we can run individual reports that show every transaction posted 
to this location. So we have two transactions here. But it's better if you go to reports here. So go down to reports, type in location, and then run one of these reports. These reports are so much better. So you can see purchases by location, so the expenses per location, the sales by location, you can see the profit and loss by location, which is probably the best one. So we can see our, la our lead store, our sales team, and the overall profit and loss for each location. That's a really good report. And this is the report I suggest you use. But it could be that you just want to track expenses rather than sales. So a purchases by location could work better. You can even just print off the locations list. So you have a list of all your locations. Hopefully this video has helped. That's a quick overview of locations, what it is, how to use it, how to run reports using uh, the locations and what it shows. If this video has been helpful, please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment in the section below. Even just to say thank you or thanks, it really helps to support this channel, which is all for free. Thank you so much.